Apple pretty much just confirmed some of the new names for the 2019 iPhones, and we hope they deserve them. If you thought that the ASUS ROG Phone 2 was overkill, wait till you hear about its new Ultra Edition. And Huawei just released two new P30 Pro color variants at IFA as well, and uh, well, we've got the Android 10 upgrade apparently. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yeah, my buddy jet lag is already kicking in, so feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I don't mind. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Those of you in the market for iPads, there's a deal right now that's a little enticing, but obviously because we're just about to get the new ones. Amazon currently has $250 off for the 64 gigabyte 12.9 inch iPad Pro Wi-Fi plus cellular. And yeah, that's a mouthful. With the discount, you pretty much get it for $900 shipped and Best Buy is matching this deal as well if you show it to them. So yeah, 12.9 inch iPad is not my favorite. I prefer the 11 inch variant, uh, but obviously your needs may vary so you can learn more in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google as uh, the company has uh, pretty much surprised us with the launch of Android 10 for its Pixels. Uh, well, I don't think it's a surprise. We were obviously expecting it, but uh, yeah, if you're rocking a Pixel, you should be able to access the update as of today. Some of the most notable features are the gesture-based UI, the new dark themes, silent notifications, new privacy features, and more. And uh, well, definitely keep you posted whenever other devices get it. Uh, I believe devices like the OnePlus 7 Pro get the beta, uh, and it, you know, it varies. Even the essential phone, I believe, gets it right now. We'll keep you posted. And speaking of Android 10, let's talk about Huawei and everything that's happening at IFA, uh, which, uh, I don't know, it's a stretch and pull between news that have to do with that and not. Now, even if the company is preparing for a May 30 series launch with the possibility of new Google Apps, they have just updated their previous flagship at IFA. The company has just released two new color variants for the P30 Pro, which is Mystic Lavender and Mystic Blue. Huawei is promoting them at IFA with banners that say with Android 10, which confirms the update, but uh, the update times may vary depending on your region and so many other things. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I hope to get to see them soon. Now, another interesting announcement comes from ASUS. Obviously, we saw their ROG Phone 2 and it made a lot of headlines for, you know, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, among other things. But now we've got some more. The company has just uh, revealed its Ultimate Edition uh, right here at IFA. This upgrade has an 120 Hz OLED display, Snapdragon 855 Plus, the same 6,000 mAh battery, a new 640 Adreno GPU, which ASUS claims outperforms the regular variant, and this is also the first Android phone to feature one terabyte of UFS 3.0 storage. The price tag, uh, 1,199 euros. And I'm not even gonna say if it's overpriced or not because at least I feel that you're getting the hardware's worth. Uh, yeah, that just got announced. Now let's move the spotlight back to Apple as obviously we're gearing up for the company's event happening next week and we're already wondering exactly what is going to happen with Apple Watch Series 5. And uh, well, this is not a confirmation, but we've got some new patents with some really cool features that have to do with the watch. The first one describes a sensor that can authenticate who is wearing the device by scanning your skin texture. This would be easier than setting a passcode or having it paired to an iPhone all the time. And then the second one describes a self-tightening band that would help while working out for authentication as well. For example, a set pattern of squeezes from the band, you select the set number and it authenticates the user. I know it's kind of weird. I don't think it's gonna happen for series five, but it would be cool to see. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with, uh, well, Apple and the names for its next generation iPhones. Uh, who's gonna take a guess before the comments over what crazy names Cupertino has come up with. There's a new official guide that just got leaked with the whole naming scheme of the new devices. For example, the iPhone 11 R that we expected is just going to be called the iPhone 11. And then the expensive variants will be the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The guide also tells us about iOS 13.1, which will be available officially on September 23rd. We also see that these three iPhones will be shipping with iOS 3.1 out of the box. So let us know in the comments down below, what do you think about these names? Because honestly, I feel that whoever came up with the name iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, 
Oh my God, that guy really needs another job. But still, for me, the whole concept of the Pro moniker, I mean, the company has to deserve it. What are these iPhones going to do special that uh, will make them Pro? Because in my case, I feel that it would have to be Apple Pencil support. Uh, and there have been tons of rumors about that, but we'll see. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage of everything happening here at IFA is on Instagram. And also follow my personal handles to see what I do when I test these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.